Hello, my name is Maria, and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson, we're going to study some more mental addition and subtraction with three-digit numbers. And my first example here is 435 plus 6. Basically, what we will do is we will think of 35 plus 6. That's a helping problem. So you just solve 35 plus 6. And now that is, as you should know, 41. So then this one is just 441. It just has the 400 there. So that's the only difference between these two. Let's try this one too. 882 plus 9. Okay, just take the 82 plus 9. Solve that. And that's almost 82 plus 10, which would be 92. It's one less than that. So it's 91. This is 91. So this one here is then 891. Okay? That's pretty easy, right? Over here happens something a little bit different. Let me write this helping problem here. 94 plus 8. Can you solve that? Actually, there's another helping problem, which is 4 plus 8, which is 12. Okay. And so we have 90 and 12, which is 102. So you notice that this here goes 2 over the next 100. The same happens here. It goes to the next 100. 202. Try that one on your own. 96 plus 6. Let's solve that first. Over here, 6 and 6 is 12. Again, okay? So actually I get the same as here. Oops. I should have chosen different numbers, right? So again, we have the situation that it goes 2 over the 100. And this one also is going to be 2 over the next 100. 602. Jeff weighs 33 kilograms. And he's 4 kilograms lighter than Jeremy. How much does Jeremy weigh? Okay, my first question to you is, who is heavier, Jeff or Jeremy? Jeff is lighter, right? So Jeremy is heavier. So Jeremy weighs more than 33 kilograms. We know that, right? And um, our task here actually is to choose which one of these number sentences, these additions and subtractions, would match this problem. And notice there's these question marks. And that's my unknown. That's what I don't know. That's what the problem is asking. The problem asks, how much does Jeremy weigh? Question mark, okay? So Jeremy's weight is the number that would go here in place of the question mark. So let's see. 33 plus some number equals 4. Now, if you add 33 in any number, it will be more than 33. You can't get 4 as an answer. Matthew, cross that out, okay? Can't be that. How about the next one? 33 minus something equals 4. Okay, 33 minus what number would leave us 4? This is mental math now. 29 would go here, right? 33 minus 29 equals 4. But 29 cannot be the right answer. Because Jeremy weighs more than Jeff, more than 33. So 29 cannot be his weight. Ah, cross that out too. 4 plus a number makes 33. Now, you probably can see that what fits here is 29 again, right? But we know 29 is not the answer. So let's cross that one out too. Oh, well, let's try the last one. 33 plus 4 equals 37. And that's the right answer, right? I'm sure you already figured that out. 37 is the right answer. So this works. And how about this one? Some number minus 4 equals 33. 37 works here too, doesn't it? 37 minus 4 equals 33. Yep, this one works too. All right, we got that one done. Over here, we're going to subtract 252 minus 8. Okay, again, your helping problem is this 52 minus 8, which that one you can solve in different ways. As far as mentally, you could think of 52 minus 2 minus 6. So we get 44. And so this one, of course, is then 244. 
774 minus 9. Over here, let's use a different kind of helping problem. Since 9 is so close to 10, then I like to do it this way. 774 minus 10, that's 7 tens, take away 10, 764. And now, I subtracted 10, so I subtracted 1 too much. So the answer to this one is 1 more than this answer. 364 minus 7. Another way would be to subtract in parts. 364 and subtract so that you will subtract down to the previous 10. And then 3 more. So this here is 360. And then 360 minus 3 is 357. 993 minus 6. Okay. Let's do the same. First subtract 3, then another 3. So it becomes 990, this one here, minus 3. 990 minus 3, so 987. I hope you're following me. Now we have something different, Matthew. Look, a pattern. 255 minus 1. Oh, that's easy, 254. Then what? 255 minus 3. Okay, 5 minus 3 would be 2. 252, right? And then minus 5, so we get 250. But now what? How does the pattern continue? 1, 3, 5. Those are your odd numbers, right? We would get 7, and then 2 more. 9, and then 11, 13. And so here, 255 minus 7, but you see over here is a pattern too. And it works the same way, by twos, two less each time. So I can use that, it will be actually quicker to fill in that way. Two less than 250, 248. Then 246, 244, and 242. All done. Lastly, Matthew, look, puzzles. Let's go solve them. This one is the easiest. So you try that first, okay? A number plus 23 makes 49. Hmm? It must be 20 something, right? 20, 20, 40. And then something plus. 3 makes 9 is 6. This one, look, Matthew. Ah, he's excited. 999 minus something leaves 290. Hmm. You know what? If it was 299 here, then it would be real easy, right? 999 minus something equals 299. Then that would be exactly 700 here. But it goes down more. It, it is 299, 290. It is 9 more that we are subtracting. So this is then 709, right? Lastly, the sum number, we take away 3. And what is left is 799. Do you remember this kind? Here you have to work backwards, okay? From something you take away 3 and this is left. So take what's left and add that back in and you get how much you had originally. Okay, so you take this and add 3. So, 802. Yep. Alright, good job. We're all done with this lesson.